Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I am going to show you one of the critical areas that you will need to understand to be successful on the GED math test. So the question is, are you ready for algebra? And then maybe even an intro question is, can you find the slope of a line? So the slope of a line, and here's the formula for it, it's a measure for finding the steepness of the line between two points. So here you can see on our uh, uh, coordinate plane here, we have two points, and we want to measure how steep is the line between these two points. Well, the formula for doing that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, a lot of people are going to get confused. Well, which one is y2 and which one is y1? Which one is x2? Which one is x1? It doesn't matter. If I choose this as my x2, then this is my x1. If I choose this as my y2, then this is my y1. Conversely, if I choose this as my y2, then this is my y1. If I choose this as my uh, x2, then this is my x1. So it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. So if I if this over here I choose as my uh, x1 or my x2 right here, then I just have to treat the other ones uh, accordingly. Now, let's take these points that we've been given. So we have this point here, minus 2, minus 1. So we know that this is the x and this is the y. And the same thing over here, this is the x and this is the y. So in this example, I've chosen this to be my y2, my minus 2. So you see that y2 there, I've plugged in minus 2. And then you see my y1 here, I've plugged in uh, 2. And I respect the subtraction sign there. And then my x2 here is 4. So I plug in my 4 there for my x2. And then, of course, this other x is my x1. So again, I respect the subtraction here. So the, the formula says subtraction. So this number might have a negative to it. It does. And so I put negative 2 right there. It's quite simple. Okay. And then if you've seen my other videos on positive and negative, numbers you'll know that a minus and a minus gives us a positive so that's going to be six so minus four over six and then you'll see how that plays out here uh, go four minus four so we're going to go down one two three four and positive six over one two three four five six and so that's how we find the slope of a line and then that slope fits into a bigger concept called the equation of a straight line or the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Again, this is very critical for success on the GED math test. So what we've just done here, m, that is the same m that's here. Then x is the input. So the, the rate of change or slope of the line multiplied by the input plus the y-intercept or the initial value. And so the y-intercept is the first place where it crosses the y uh, on the, uh, the y-axis here. That's the y-intercept. And for word problems, uh, uh, it is the initial value. Now, so let's jump right into a word problem because this is where the rubber meets the road. So a high school basketball team played five home games during their season. This graph here shows the attendance for home games. Describe the rates of change in attendance between home game number three and home game five. So here you have your attendance numbers and here you have your uh, which home game it was. And the question is between three and five. So on the next slide here, you'll see how we use that concept of Y2 and Y1. This is Y2. This is Y1, just, I, just of, of my choosing. This is X2. This is X1. So we come over here, Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. We have our attendance here and our home games here. And so we're just clicking right along. And so we just do our math here and we get our answer 43. So the rate of change between uh, home game uh, three and four is 43 uh, is the, uh, the the rate of change between those home games. Now, if you're interested in being successful on this test, I'm telling you now about my GED Super Math Pack. This is a powerful DVD, a data DVD. You pop it right into your computer and you go to town. There's over four gigabytes of content 
on this DVD. There's over 20 hours of instructional video. We're covering linear equations, solving for x, positive and negative number, polynomials and exponents, quadratic equations, fractions, percents, ratio and proportions, everything that you need to know to be successful. There's videos, there's practice tests, there's study guides, everything that you need to know to be successful. Again, this is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series coming to you today to talk specifically about GED math and GED math algebra. And what I've just shared with you in this video is something that will help you to be successful as you prepare for this test. Thank you.